Hi, I'm Amanda Holden, and I'm here to tell you all about my new autobiography, No Holding Back. I decided to write my autobiography now. Um, I've been asked for a number of years, but I think uh, the last five years have been pretty hectic for me on a personal level. Um, quite a lot of it's been written about, but none from me personally. And without sounding too tragic, after nearly dying, I thought my children aren't going to know you know, anything about me really. So I need to tell my story so they can read it in the future. And I mean in the future because there's a few swear words in the book. Mummy doesn't swear. Survival is pretty much the theme throughout the book. Everyone has their own story, but I survived an, an affair, a marriage, um, being spoken to in quite a pervy way by Jimmy Savile. Um, obviously, a very public miscarriage, and then worse after that, a stillbirth. Um, but, you know, I, I came through it all and I'm on the other side now and in a very, very happy marriage with two beautiful children and a wonderful life. And so I think it's very important for me to be able to tell that story so that it can, you know, this sounds like I'm being Miss United Kingdom, but I really wanted to give hope to other people out there, especially women who have been through what I've been through, which is actually quite a lot. As much as I've been very fair about my first marriage, my first husband might find it an uncomfortable read. He's now happily married himself our marriage was wonderful for five or six years and then sadly it went wrong and I have an affair. But I will stick by the sentence which I keep saying, I do not believe women have affairs when they're happily married. We don't seek sex, we seek love and affirmation. I mean, I just about have sex with my current husband and I'm hardly going to go and have an affair as well. It's an effort, girls, isn't it? Or boys. I dedicated the book to my two gorgeous girls, Lexi and Holly, in the acknowledgement to them at the front of the book, I've suggested they might make different choices to their mama. I've not regretted my choices, I just obviously wish I'd made different ones in my life. And I think if they can learn by my mistakes, they might have a less frenetic, busy, tragic, complicated time. 